Welcome everyone to GamerMeld. Today I've got a slew of huge stories. Starting with Intel's 12th gen needing yet another socket, AMD outsold Intel by 10 to 1 here, a new CPU with 128 cores that isn't AMD or Intel, and Nvidia's next gen gets up to 4 times ray tracing performance. Okay, it's news time, man. First up for today, while Gigabyte recently confirmed that Intel's 11th gen processors will be supported on the just released LGA 1200 socket, um, yes. <laughs> it looks like it'll end there. Originally found on LitTech, a Taiwanese manufacturer that makes voltage regulator tools for Intel parts, you can see that they have a list of platform names with their respective sockets on the side. Now, while it looks like they've since changed it or it's in another area that I can't find, according to a version from WCCF Tech, Intel's Alder Lake S, which from what I've seen would be Intel's 12th gen processors, it comes with a new socket called LGA1700. What further confirms this is that a little while back, resident leaker Komachi tweeted essentially the same thing. Of course, it could be wrong, but with two sources claiming it, I wouldn't hold out hope. With that said, things aren't going so well anyway, and if you're like most and have been stuck at home bored, why not be productive by learning a new skill from today's sponsor? Skillshare, an online learning community that offers thousands of classes, so they've got something for basically anything you want to learn. I mean look at this, there's creative classes from animation to graphics design, and you can even learn business skills from marketing to analytics. I'm actually thinking about learning Unreal Engine 4, who would have thought they'd have that? And you can get all of that for less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Not only that, but the first 1,000 users to use this link, which is also in the description, will get two months free of Skillshare Premium. So hurry up before they're gone to start learning your new skill today. Next up for today, the German retailer MindFactory.de has yet again published their CPU sales numbers for the previous month. Remember that they're one of the only retailers who actually gives us these figures, and even separates them by CPU, which makes them one of the few ways we can get an idea of sales numbers for AMD versus Intel. What's interesting about their recent report is that AMD is actually outselling Intel by over 10 to 1. Whoa. And if we look at it further, even AMD's last gen Ryzen 2600 is selling around as much as Intel's entire lineup. Of course, things will likely change a bit when Intel releases their 10th gen processors, but let's just say that AMD is doing very well. Next up for today, a Silicon Valley startup called Tachium was founded in 2016, and they've apparently announced their first, quote, universal processor. That is, a processor that can handle AI, data center, and HPC workloads. It's called the Prodigy, and while the universal part is huge, its supposed specs is just as big. According to the company, the Prodigy gets up to 128 cores, which is nearly unbelievable in and of itself, especially for a startup, but it doesn't stop there. They're also claiming that it's built on 7 nanometers, supports DDR5 and PCI Express 5.0. And get this, it's faster than Xeon, yet smaller than ARM. Oh yeah, and all cores on the 64 core part are able to run at 4 GHz at only 180 watts. Basically, if all of their claims are true, this is a powerhouse of a processor. Now, with that said, it very well may not be all that honest. This is a brand new company, and for all we know, they're trying to procure more investments. Of course, I'm not making that claim because I really don't know. Simply put, it's best to be reserved when it comes to amazing claims from such a new company. Either way, it definitely looks to be impressive. Of course, if this next story is right, Nvidia's next-gen cards could be just as impressive. The story was originally reported by Moore's Law is Dead, and while it does come from an unnamed source, according to Moore's Law is Dead, that source has gotten information correct in the past. Basically, you just make sure to take this with some skepticism, but it is certainly interesting. Anyway, starting things off, according to his source, Nvidia's next-gen and peer GPUs aren't just Turing with a die shrink. Instead, it's an actual architectural change that'll bring some real performance differences, but I'll get to that in a second. He also claims that most of Nvidia's cards could be on Samsung's 8 nanometers. Now, I will say that a very recent story from DigiTimes claims that they've heard that Nvidia is using Samsung for their lower end Ampere GPUs. Basically, this part really looks to be true. Next up, the source claims that Nvidia is working on NV Cache, which is apparently Nvidia's answer to AMD's high bandwidth cache controller on Vega. Next, let's get to the performance. As you can see, he claims that Ampere will get between a 10 to 20% IPC increase over Turing, which definitely is impressive, but it's not the biggest part. 
According to this, Ampere has double the tensor cores per SM. Whether that includes the RT cores is unclear, but when we include what NVIDIA did with the architecture, this is saying that we can expect up to four times the ray tracing performance. That's obviously huge, and according to this, that new power effectively means you won't see much of a performance loss when turning ray tracing on. See, with Turing, you had to determine if the better graphics was worth a huge loss in FPS, and that's a tough decision. Sure, DLSS could help, but that had issues as well, and not everyone supports it. You're basically paying extra for a feature you may never use. But if this is right, the better cores are able to handle nearly all of the real-time ray tracing, and that means you won't have to choose anymore. Basically, if this is right, AMD had better hope they've got something huge up their sleeve. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for Ampere, or are you just bummed that you may need yet another motherboard? Let me know down in the comments below, and don't forget to check out Skillshare in the description below. And as always, have a great day!